doing? Welcome to another episode of the top 10 things I get asked as a real estate agent. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorites, which is how do I hire or how do I pick the right real estate agent? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here we are in beautiful Silicon Valley and I'm sure you or somebody you know knows a real estate agent, right? You know, it's kind of like they gave real estate licenses away when you got your driver's license. So, you know, I get it. Everybody knows an agent, but how do you pick the right one? You know, at the end of the day, this is a huge transaction. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of money, and really a chapter of your life on the line. So who you work with matters. In my opinion, the perfect real estate agent for you has kind of a combination of a few things. Experience, empathy, and at the end of the day, that trust factor. When you're looking to hire or pick the right agent, I strongly encourage you to talk to two, maybe three different real estate agents. I wouldn't recommend 10, 15, 20, because at the end of the day, it's kind of like speed dating. You won't remember agent one from agent seven to agent 13, they'll all just be a blur. But really, pick one, two, or three agents to interview, and then from there, decide on who you want to work with. You know, definitely, I recommend referrals, right? You know, there are people that you know that have bought and sold homes, and it's important to reach out to them. Ask them what their experience was like. Ask them what they liked and didn't like, and if they'd be willing to recommend that agent to you. You'd be surprised at how many people say, oh yeah, I know an agent, but you probably shouldn't work with him. Also, you wanna check online. Look for reviews, uh, Zillow, Yelp, Google. Take a look at that agent and see what other people are saying about them. You know, at the end of the day, some of the questions you wanna ask and really understand about the agent that you choose to work with, number one is experience. And I don't mean just how many years they've been in business. You know, there's a lot of agents out there that have been licensed since the 80s, but don't do a lot of real estate transactions, right? I think what's really important is to ask them how many deals they've done in the last 12 or 24 months. That really gives you an idea of what they're doing in this market to be successful. The other thing that I would ask an agent is show me your marketing. Our jobs as real estate agents are marketers, negotiators, and problem solvers. Marketing a home is more than just sticking a sign in the yard and praying that it sells. You know, I can tell you, and most agents tell you, well, we'll put you on Facebook. Well, that's great. I can put myself on Facebook. You know, there's different levels to marketing. And so really drill down and ask them exactly what they do, how much money they spend, and what type of results they can expect. Also, the important thing for me is negotiating. And that's really one of my favorite parts, right? I treat your money like it's my own. You know, whether I'm saving you a hundred a thousand or a hundred thousand dollars you know I'm gonna make sure that I negotiate and fight tooth and nail for you but uh, it's not about me today how can they facilitate whether it's buying or selling a home you know what type of resources do they have for you any agent that has a lot of experience should have an awesome network of people they should be able to help you with painters and contractors handymen inspectors whether you're on the buyer or seller side doesn't matter you know in fact a great agent should be able to get you good seats for the warriors the giants the sharks you know really anything that you need because in theory, that agent should be connected with the community. So find somebody that's resourceful, understands marketing and negotiation, and has experience in this market. You know, I appreciate your time. Oh, and, and the last thing, be leery of anybody that says, I'm a lender and you can only work with this agent if you're gonna work with me. That's not true. You know, at the end of the day, you have the right to work with anybody you want. Trust your gut. You know, if, if you're sitting across the table from somebody and, and it feels like they know what they're talking about, feels like they were able to connect with you, really understand your buying or selling goals. You know, I, I encourage you to trust your gut, but do your research. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next episode.